Hello everybody, my name is Connor, and in this tutorial we're going to be going over colour grading in Unity 5 using colour correction lookup textures. Colour correction lookup textures are amazing for really improving the mood and colour of your scene. Let's get started. So I'm going to provide this link in the description. Uh, it's basically the documentation on the color correction lookup texture um, that tells you all the information you need to know about the color correction lookup texture and how it will affect your scene. Uh, quick example, okay, here is a scene without a color correction lookup texture applied, and here is one with. So that's the kind of adjustments you can make to brightness, color, and you know the overall contrasts of your scene. So what I'm going to do is to first use the color correction lookup texture, you're gonna need the actual texture itself. So if you come to this documentation and you scroll down and you right click on this image here underneath lookup texture requirements, right click and save image as, and I'm just gonna save it on my desktop. So there we go, yes, done. Okay, so now the next step is to come into Unity. Here in Unity, I have my scene. Now this is not my art, I have not made this scene. Uh, it's just off the asset store. But it's gonna be great for showing you, you know, how this works because of all the different colors. So, you know, we've got greens, we've got kind of yellows and reds and blues. It's gonna be really good. So, the first thing you're gonna need to even apply image effects is a camera. Okay, on your camera, this is where you apply the image effects. As you can see, I have some image effects here. If I turn them all off, you see the difference. Now, ignore this SSAO Pro. You probably won't have that because it's an asset bought from the asset store. It's just a better, alter, better alternative to the Unity SSAO. So I'm gonna turn this back on real quick. Um, there we go. Right, now to access image effects, uh, ever since UT5 came out, they, gave image effects free okay when in the previous versions of unity uh image effects you you need a pro so if you don't have image effects when you click on component come to assets import package effects next thing you want to do is come to component image effects okay now before you do this i've just realized you need to be click on your camera you need to have your inspector for your camera open then go to component, image effects, and click on color adjustments, and then 3D lookup texture. Boom. Now you'll notice that nothing happened. That's because we haven't actually made this lookup texture yet to apply. So the next step is to screenshot your scene. The easiest way to do this, of course, is just to press print screen, come into Photoshop or GIMP, and then paste it in. Now, I apologize for this one because I have a dual monitor set up. It's going to copy them both. I'm just going to delete that lot of seconds. That lot of second. I'm just going to want to capture this part of the image. Boom, there's our scene. Now, the next step is to import your lookup texture into this image. Now, we saved it. I saved mine on my desktop. So, locate wherever you saved this texture and click open. You see it's just bars of colors. And we're gonna click on the move tool and we're gonna put it into our image. Now it doesn't matter where you place this, I just tend to place it in the bottom right hand corner just so I can see what's going on in my scene. Now I would rename this if I was you as well to um, LUT which stands for lookup texture. Okay. Now no image effects can go below the LUT or the lookup texture. Okay, if they do and you're applying them, you know, below it, so say if I have a hue saturation, it's not above the lookup texture, it's not going to affect the lookup texture, so your scene won't be affected. So I'm going to delete that. So to start with, uh, I'm going to come down here, click on this little icon here, and you see effects. I'm going to start with the photo filter. Now you can see we have quite a few fills here. We have cooling filters to make it look a bit more, you know, cold and warm. 
but I tend to just go for the warming filter or maybe the top one and then you can adjust it so see if I turn it off it's kind of a bit more coldish dark you know blues turn it back on it's a lot warmer so I'm going to keep it at that the next effect you want to apply is you know you can just add whatever you want but I'm going to go for a brightness and contrast I'm just going to up the brightness of the scene a little and then adjust the contrast just to there we go now I'm going to apply um, a curves and I'm just going to kind of darken it just a little okay now I'm going to add a uh, where is it uh, a hue saturation and I'm just gonna you can like kind of adjust the saturation as well and you can also adjust the overall color like if I saved it now this is what my scene would look like inside of unity so I'm just gonna put zero and I'm gonna put zero for that one and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna desaturate it just a little not too much just a little bit maybe negative five and there we go then I'm going to add a channel mixer. Now this is pretty cool. Okay, now you just see I've just clicked monochrome. Don't do that. But we can adjust colors. Okay, so if I want to add some more blues into my scene, or I want it to be warmer. Okay, we can change these. I just think I'm going to tweak them so I get a good result. Maybe have a warmish pink. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then I'm going to add another... Where is the... Do, 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 color balance. And I just change this as well. Just remember... Just want to get something that looks, you know, good. So I'm quite happy with that, actually. Well, I'm going to select all these and I'm going to put them into a folder. This way I can just see the difference. So there's it turned off, there's it turned on. Okay, now once you've applied all your effects, you want to come to your LUT, okay, which is your lookup table there, lookup texture, sorry. And now if you hold down Control and Shift and click on the actual image icon here, it will select. Now I'm going to press Control C. And then go to File, New, OK, and paste it in there. Now, I'm slightly thinking that it hasn't copied what I want it to. So instead, I'm just going to press Control Shift C, and it'll copy my exact section. There we go. OK, now once you've done that, you can see it's, the, it's changed from our default. There's our default, and there's the changed one. Default, changed. I'm going to click File, Save As, and I'm going to save it as a PNG, as Lookup Texture, Save, OK, OK. Next, you want to come to Unity, and I've already imported it, but I'm going to delete it and import it for tutorial sake. Import New Asset, find the Lookup Texture you just saved, and import it. Once that's done, usually you just change the format to True Color, and click Apply. Now you want to come to your camera, and you can see where we've where we've applied the color correction lookup script. You want to grab that image texture and place it into this texture slot here. Now you notice that nothing happened when we applied it. That's because the texture needs to be converted, where it says down here, convert and apply. So I'm going to hit that and see what happens. My scene color automatically adjusts, and as you can see, it looks. It looks pretty good. It's a bit darker than the actual image itself, but you'd usually also just use different image effects to bring it up as well. So you have a bloom here, which kind of makes that sky a little bit more shiny. And the noise is kind of affecting it a bit as well. So there you go. That's how to use color correction lookup textures inside of Unity. Uh, I hope you enjoyed or and this tutorial helped you. Uh, if it did in any way, leave some feedback, whether it's a like, a comment, you know, even if you want to subscribe for, you know, future tutorials and learn how to make amazing looking games, um, that's cool. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next tutorial. Bye.